What's going on guys, my name is YellowS2K and I'm playing some MX vs ATV Reflex and this is another custom track review. We are at Wakeley Compound by Vakeli. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but uh, this is an amazing compound. In fact, this is one of the best things made for Reflex in a very, very long time. So hopefully you stick around. It's going to be a longer video. Um, there's a motocross track, an enduro trail that's three and a half miles long, and then a uh, supercross track and they're all phenomenal. I mean, this is the shit. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're going to start off with the motocross track, then we're going to go supercross, and then we're going to put it into first person uh, using Jamie T's camera mod, and we are going to be running some laps on the uh, enduro trail, probably just one of them on that because it is pretty long, but it's amazing, and you have to have flow on every single one of these, but what's cool is the flow that you have to have um, for each of these tracks is very, very different from another. Um, the motocross track is all about the ruts. Uh, you can see it's there's a lot of ruts and you really have to be patient going into them. But really, if you're patient and you hit your, the angles going into these ruts correctly, I mean, you're going to fly through this track. It's so much fun. Um, the Supercross track is more of a realistic size Supercross track. Um, so you have to be like kind of slowing up for different stuff and being aware of your speed um, in a totally different way. The Enduro um, is all about, you know, it's a lot of corners, some doubles through trees. You really have to be precise. Um, but doing it in first person is a blast because everything comes quick and uh, you really have to be on your toes. So, um, man, this compound is amazing. You can see a lot of different options here, lots of ruts. Look at that water truck uh, tipped over in the water in the middle of the track. Cool little uh, extra there. But you can see, I mean, holy shit, so far. I know you, you haven't gotten a great glimpse um, of what this compound has to offer yet, but uh, the quality is so high throughout this entire thing. It's nuts. Ooh, getting a little, getting a little crazy on those ruts. It's very easy for these ruts to catch you out, so you have to, uh, you have to respect them. And I know, I know how silly that sounds, but you really do. You really have to slow up, get into them correctly. This is a cool little brap kind of covers, uh, it's like a little shortcut almost, you know, but it's the actual portion of the track. Um, but anyway, you just have to respect these ruts, and you'll see more uh, as I go, but there's a lot of braking bumps going into the ruts, so it means that you really have to be on your toes. That step up triple is actually really cool if you uh, get through the corner cleanly. Again, look at those braking bumps. You can see how I, I hit that braking bump, and there was still one left, so I, I didn't quite carry the rhythm through there to be able to just jump right into the rut and that's what it's all about you'll see hopefully i'm gonna do two maybe even three laps on this to show you and hopefully uh, my riding will improve as we go but uh man it really does take a little bit of skill to get through here cleanly and use these ruts to your full advantage it's easy to kind of dive into a mid rut but it's a whole nother thing to uh carry your speed around them the entire time you'll see some options there and I'm not even taking ruts on a handful of these corners. Um, but really, it's all about the rut if you can hit it cleanly. That's a smaller table. So let me look back at this. I'm glad it resets you. So this inside line is really sick. If you can jump, you land in this inside. But I'll see if I can just still try to rail it here. And you can still clear this table and dive to the inside. So you can see, look at the options. It's incredible. Like... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, it's just so good. Um, so much fun. Try to hit this inside. I've actually never hit that rut. That's a nice little line through there. Let's try to hit this middle one. That's cool. It connects to that farther outside where it avoids that uh, roller. Let's try to get a little bit of flow. That first lap was a little nasty. I'm sure this one will be better. It's all about just getting your rhythm. Like, even just through there, you can see, like, to get through all of that cleanly, you really have to be uh, on point. You can't dick around. There we go. Jump all the way over that. Triple out. Actually, that's almost a quad, if you want to call it that. Pretty cool. Nice inside rut. Brap. Big old gap there. Let's hit this middle one. Again, you got to be careful of those braking bumps going in. you got to make sure you check your speed. Make sure you're stable. Lean back. Go all the way outside. Oh, holy shit. Those braking bumps just jacked me up. Let's try that one more time here. Might not have the speed to clear this big gap, though. Yeah, we will. 
So you can see, look at those breaking bumps. If you're not aware of them, they will screw you. Didn't get the angle there very nicely, but we'll take it. Nice triple. Trying to have some fun throwing some whips. You can see my back end. I'm not, I'm not holding that rear end stable enough, and that's why I'm bouncing around. I mean, I'm still carrying speed, but I'm really trying to push it more than I probably should to go properly quick. Again, this is a fast lap on this is all about rhythm. This is incredible. What a great track. And the cool thing is, it's like, this is a... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> this is a great track all by itself. Let alone there being a Supercross track that's great and an Enduro uh, section that's, that's equal quality. I mean, how nuts is that? A little overjump. Some big gaps. Nice through the trees. So I was nice and patient there. Hold on, I want to show you guys, because I don't want to do too many laps. That'll just add up to the overall time of the video just a little too much. Rail this, nice triple. So smooth, and it gets you through the section nice and cleanly. Obviously, obviously you can get through there without that case, and it just makes things even better. Little wall, that one can catch you out. You can see a little bit of a case. If you don't roll that wall, you're done for there. Her rail all the way around the outside. I love it. Try to dive into this rut. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I caught that. Big step up. Carried a little bit too much speed there, but check this out. Oh, fuck. I wanted to jump back over. Okay, we're going to hit this middle line. You don't want to go too quick. Little blip. Line yourself right for that inside rut and still hit this step up. Again, usually I like to try to show you guys these lines all uh, kind of put together in one lap. But for this, we're going to have to change things up just a little bit. A little bit of backtracking there to hopefully show you guys the cool lines here. Absolutely nuts. So there's the finish. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of the Nationals track. Um, we're going to actually cheat kind of cut over here. You can see a sign for the Supercross track. We're going to just hop on it right here. Um, anyway, Supercross track, um, pretty cool. Again, it's a realistic sized uh, track, so you're going to have to uh, go a little bit slower. It's not this like big, crazy fast one, um, but it is a lot of fun. Finish line there. Check this out. I say it's not fast, but look at that huge step down. Oh, that's hard to clear that triple. This is a hard line to hit. So I'm actually going to slow up here and see if I can hit this. Triple. Triple. Oh, that's a five out. <laughs> so I say it's a small track and you really have to uh, be patient and go slow. But really, I mean, that's those are the biggest, that's the biggest line on the, on the track there. But look at this. These whoops all the way down the hill, flat. Just a normal size triple. Pretty cool. I like the stuff where you have to slow up for. I mean, smaller double there. You can see I'm landing in the corner kind of like an idiot. I'm glad I hit that big uh, line there because it's not easy to hit. Check this out. little jump right on the inside. Actually blew it, but we'll still get through here okay. Injury with a single, but it is what it is. Again, a little bit of a tire tap. A couple different options through there. You see, I'm just going to double it this time back to the finish. So a pretty sweet little supercross track. Let's uh, let's roll this. So you can roll it and just triple and you actually carry quite a bit of speed there. We'll double this this time. This is where we went for the big triple. Now we'll go outside, try to carry a good bit of speed. We'll double, double, and then you go jump on, off, double out. So that's a totally different option. Obviously I like the uh, the huge uh, what do you call a five? I'm gonna call it a fiver. Fuck it. Uh, I'm sure there's a better name, but the, I mean, just nuts. That's a huge line, but really, it might not be the fastest because you're in the air. You're just so high in the air. I mean, it's it's outrageous. But you can cut to the inside. These small little doubles here, on off. You really don't need that much speed or pop to get over that. Again, small little double. We'll jump over this time, and you can actually jump on off but you end up with a single so it just is what it is through there 
try to carry your speed, jump all the way, a triple on to that step on, and then triple up the hill. That's the line to hit through there for sure. Let's hit this uh, big step down. Brap! That's so sick. Again, not as easy as it might look. Try triple, that's not easy to hit. I usually case it just a little bit. Let's try to hit this line again. Roll, triple, triple. Ugh, not quite, but you can see what a huge line that is. Now I think you might be able to uh, triple out of this corner here. Let's see if, what we can do. I'm gonna try to double out and then full throttle here. Yeah, you can, and then you'll end up with a triple there as well. So let me try to hit that one more time. Again, I'm trying to not do too many laps. I might not, might not get it, but so much fun. Again, I'm just appreciating the different lines that you can hit through here. Cutting in just a little early, but still hit the line. And then you can end up with almost a triple up the hill. So pretty cool. Lots of different choice and some huge lines. So um, what a great Supercross track. Um, especially when you keep in mind that uh, there's a compound around it. Oh, shit. A little, uh, little far there. So anyway, guys, I don't, I don't want to waste too much time. Let's, uh, let's move on. All right, here we are at the Enduro Trail. Uh, first person, like I said, uh, it's so much better in first person. Everything comes at you so much faster, and you really have to be on point. Um, and again, this is amazing, uh, just really high quality. So let's try to blast some uh, laps or a lap on this. Uh, it's going to take me just a little bit to kind of get my groove because this is so much different than what I was just doing. Um, and again, obviously it's narrow. It's about uh, this narrow the whole way around. This portion's a little weird. It took me a little bit to realize like where the track goes. Cool ruts through there, and then you launch up this hill. And this is kind of that just gets you into the start of the uh, the loop here. I'm sure, there's going to be some mistakes, but my my goal is to just flow through this the best that I can. Kind of fuck that up, but there's a big double there that you can easily go off track. Probably the hardest, uh, kind of weirdest double on the whole uh, course there. You can see there's definitely some sweet jumps all throughout it. But it's rough. You really have to uh, kind of use these bumps to your advantage, kind of hop through them. If you're fighting them the whole time, you're just really, you're not going to go very quick. You're just going to be pissed off and it's not going to feel very good. But if you embrace the bumps and, and kind of use them to your advantage to hop through things and avoid other bumps and... Uh, just imagine them being like little rhythm sections and stuff like that. Um, man, it makes up for it for sure. Ooh, a little, little weird through there. With what I was doing with the camera. Again, spots like that, if you're not paying attention, you're just going to launch it and go into the trees really rough through there but you really gotta know when you gotta slow up this is actually an on off if you hit it smoothly I actually kinda like launching it some fun little ruts around some of these corners and see so you can double into that Woo. I gotta get my uh, my shit together honestly it takes a little bit always to get into that the flow and how to ride this, especially in first person. Again, I do prefer it in first person, but shit, that's a tree. Uh, but you do have to ride it so much differently than everything else. Let's carry my front end over some of this. Sweet ruts just kind of throughout the whole course easy to case through here and then you're just fighting these doubles not too bad you can see at the very end there's so many doubles there that really that's a spot where you can lose a lot of time fast section here oh shit kind of got thrown off Make sure you slow up in time. Cool section through here. Really tight. 
First person can make it a bit of a challenge getting through some of these tight sections. But man, it's fun. Just trying to rhythm through some of these. Not fight it too much. Oh shit, almost nailed that tree. That's cool, this little line all the way up through there. Oh man, I thought that was a jump. Surprised that's the first time I've done that. That's cool, it's almost like a little tire tap through there. Ooh, that was a triple to the inside rut there. That was sick. I actually missed that um, on my first lap of this. I've only done one lap on this, so I'm definitely learning. Oh, look how tight that is. You got that'd be sick to land in that rut. Again, this if you're not doing it in first person, it just it's not as cool. It just isn't. I promise. Um, third person or whatever is just I don't know. Everything's just coming at you so slow, and um, you, you don't appreciate it as much, for sure. I don't know what Vakeli thinks, but uh, in my opinion, that's what it is. Obviously, do what you want. But again, all of these are raceable, so I'm excited to check that out, and maybe uh, I'd like to do a little bit of uh, Enduro. There's, what, two of them now? Two Enduro tracks that are raceable, so we could have some fun... Uh, do a little enduro championship that's a huge gap look at this split line last time I took the inside well I fucked up and now we're gonna take the inside anyways this is pretty cool pretty narrow through here though goes into multiple splits at this point which is sweet again more splits insides outsides they all connect to each other Pretty cool. Oh, I wheelied that whole thing. That was sweet. Let's go outside. Try not get too carried away. Just trying to launch everything like it's a big ass gap. <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. A little double down the hill. Gotta not get too carried away here. It's so easy to do. And just launch off the track. I mean, even just right there. Look how tight this is. Double. Looks a little wet through here. That's cool. A little bit of moisture. What is this? Wall. Oh, it's rough. That's sweet, though. Now you can probably see why first person is so good. A little off track, but no big deal. That's cool, like two ruts separated from each other into a jump. Ooh, that's a triple with like a tiny little landing. Fast section through here. Full speed. Oh shit. There's hay bales on the inside there. Still trying to keep that front end up. So, so much fun. Double, double, triple, something like that. <laughs> All the way down the hill. I don't even know where it connects here. I think I might actually call that. Pretty insane, right? I mean, how how crazy is that? So much fun. Um, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that. I know the Enduro isn't for everybody, but uh, damn, that was a lot of fun. I mean, the Supercross track, the Nationals track, and the Enduro Loop. I mean, holy shit, what an amazing compound by Vikelli. Um, please download this. Please let him know uh, that we appreciate him making this because I'm sure it took a long, long time. 
Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please download it. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will talk to you later. Peace out.